What's up guys, Polak here, and I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys today how to fix the unsupported media type when you import your media from El an Elgato software to your editing software. So, a lot of you people probably have this type of uh, problem. I had, I had it specifically, that's why I'm making this video to share with you guys how uh, to fix this. So, I'm gonna show you guys like how it uh, happens and how to fix it. So, if you're recording with Elgato, obviously you have, um... You record everything you have, you have it all over on your editing section, then you put it into a folder and then you import it into your uh, editing software for your edit. But this is what happens some sometimes. So say I have two clips right here that I have for my Polish Road to Glory series and I'm going to just put import one right now. So imports without a problem. But now I'm going to import the second one. It's, uh, this, it's a second uh, rec record. Um, I recorded this right after this one. I don't see what sh the problem should be with it, so uh, I click it, and guess what? It cannot load the file, and it says because it's either an unsupported media type or required codecs are not found, which it makes no sense because they're both the same files. They both have the same. They're both MP4s and all that. So you're basically wondering how to fix this because I tried many things before this idea. Um, I tried to um, what's it called? I tried to like put different uh, put like put different abbreviations such as I put uh, WMV, all kinds of stuff, but. Enough of that, but I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix it. It is really easy. All you need to do is to download this program right here. It is called Prism Video File Converter, and it will be in my description below, so you guys can easily download it. So what you guys have to do is download this uh, this uh, program. It's pretty easy. It's a simple. You just download it, you know, put it in, all that. It's simple. So what you do is go to the actual program and just click on that. So now you guys see that you have a all right, so, all right there you go now you guys have the uh, window with the prism video file converter so what you guys do is whatever uh, file that you set that has the unsupported media type which was this one you click it you open it by going for going from add files and then looking for your um, your uh, file and then what you do is you put your output format so you want it to be mp4 even though it is already mp4 it still works so surprisingly when you convert it to mp4 once again it actually works when you convert it into your uh, editing software which is unusual but as long as it works that's all that matters so you convert it to mp4 and then you got you got your file and uh, if you want to save it to a folder what you do is simply just go browse and look to whatever um, folder it is you want to save it to and once you do that you simply just convert it which I'm obviously not going to convert it because this one is already converted I'll show you the after uh, for the after of it so you guys saw that I got saved I've got a record that's where it is saved so right now I'm going to go to Camtasia so this one like I said does not open all right so now we're going to import it again the same one just it's going to be from a different it's the one that has been converted through the Prism video converter. So here it is. Here it is. I got three because I actually had the this problem for three of my clips. But here's one. Is I believe this is the one that I had the exact those ex excuse me the exact clip. So click it and look at that easily. Just just goes through like it's nothing. Like it's it's unbelievable. Like I said, go you try the normal one that you have from your Elgato records and it doesn't work but then when you convert it simple you just put it in so you basically that's it that's all it is to it guys uh, it's pretty simple it's pretty fast uh what i'm going to say quickly is that depending on how long your clip is it takes some time to convert so say if your like clip is 15 minutes long it will take some time but if it's something short like two minutes three minutes it won't it'll take less than five minutes at max it depends but other than that, this thing works 100%, and it, it really, really is really helpful, especially for those that get the unsupported media type uh, message. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are looking for any other tutorial videos for me to uh, do, please uh, put it in the comments below. Smash the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys.